This is Electric Universe Geology Earth News. Someone recently sent me a, a link to this place in Saudi Arabia, I believe. It's supposed to be Mount Sinai. When I got the, the link, I was upset because to me, showing where Mount Sinai was is something of a religious thing as opposed to a geologic thing. So I had wished that they had not sent it to me because I've been encouraging people to avoid religion and let's talk geology because at least half of the people here are probably agnostics or atheists. So why piss off half the people and confuse them and get everybody upset with each other? Let's just stick with geology. Leave your religion at home. Anyway, after I calmed down, I noticed that the area is incredibly interesting. Whether or not it has anything to do with God, I don't care. But it's interesting, so let's just leave God out of all of this, please. For the love of God. This area looks like it's scratched. It reminds me of places in the Sierra, where there's scratching. It's not fluvial. The lines are straight. It runs through the rock. It goes through high points. Let me zoom in a little bit. If you see what I'm talking about, it's all these scratches. And it looks like it's granite, surrounded by areas that are probably basalt. So, I'm guessing this was a high energy area. Similar to Zion, where it's removed. So, whether or not Ten Commandments came from here, Moses went up on the mountain, burning bush, all of that stuff, let's leave that alone. But all of these scratches in here imply to me that this was electrically excavated. They're not dendritic. Dendritic is fluvial, generally speaking. Straight means electrical. If anybody has a... People seem to have a real problem with that. It's so counterintuitive. Gee, it looks like a Lichtenberg pattern. It must be from electricity. No, it doesn't. It's, it's not true. So these are not rivers. These are scratches. These are areas that were remo removed electrically, I believe. I could be wrong. But thank you for posting this. I appreciate it. Just let's concentrate on geology, not God. Because that's just going to screw things up. Thank you.